on the ground? So, <laughs> is there anybody from the sheriff's department here? Miss, ma'am, I'd, I'd like to go ahead and talk to you as soon as possible. I'll tell you exactly why they're harassing <clears throat> the rest of the council. He's arrested half of them. They're harassing because he's white. He's been out here 12 years. He brought this department from he's zero to, 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 to what it is today and taking care of it. They are retaliating against him and trying to intimidate him and thinking the whole community is not going to get behind him and take care of him. It just, it, it's so embarrassing and so disgusting because when he came here, they had one police car that had leaking heads. I wonder who that is talking way over there. Now, they've I got a nice that apartment. And oh, that's Mayor I, I'll Oscar Berto. I'll talk to you, ma'am. The truth That's needs to be told. Okay? Berto, former mayor. Because Here. that man right there has taken care of this city for 12 years. For 12 years. And this is the thanks he get. But because during them 12 years, he's arrested some of the council members. Then those are the same people now that's in charge of this city. The city hadn't paid bills. This woman is four months behind on her water bill. Hey, I'm going to have to call worry. the sheriff's department. Mike, I can't take it. Call whoever you want to call, call the department. But you see what I mean, the situation he's in? Because I'm talking to you and going to tell some things. The city secretary is there asking how far behind the mayor is on her water bill. She hadn't paid a water bill in four months. I just, I can't take it, man. This man has literally saved my life. When I got back from Iraq serving in 04 or 05, I didn't know front from back. He would come to my house and spend two hours talking to me. Period. He has been to citizens' house and helped them. He don't deserve this. There's nothing worse than discrimination but reverse discrimination. And that's what's happening to him. And intimidation. I can't take it. It's an embarrassment. It is literally crazy. How can somebody dare say I don't want to be discriminated against as a black? or my sexual orientation or anything and then turn around and treat a man like him like that. I cannot take it and this city should not stand for it.